my, uh, my church, I, I hope I say this right, my church kind of added to my problems. I already knew I was horrible. And then it came time to take communion. And, and I could pray. I, I wouldn't just pray like you are. I would get down back here on my, in my pew and I would whisper because I didn't want anybody to hear what I'm saying. God, forgive me. And I had a list of stuff I'm trying to get clean from before I get up here and get in that line and get a little glass of grape juice because I don't want to die. I don't want to be sick tomorrow because I took it. And I'm telling you, at some point in my young spiritual life, I just came up with questions about why would God do this? And I went to the pastor, and that was one of the... I had 10 questions when I was in high school. I wrote them down, made an appointment with the pastor. When school was out at 3.30, I wanted to meet him, and I started through my list of 10 questions. I only got through the third question. That's as far as he let me go. And then he, he got up out of his desk and he started pacing. He said, you got a spirit of rebellion. I'm not going to tolerate that, you rebel. You got that spirit of rebellion. And he started like preaching in his office instead of just talking to me like. And I'm like, okay, 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 I'm sorry. And I crawled out of there with only three questions unanswered. The other seven never even got brought up. But one of them was that right there. Because when Paul wrote that to the Corinthians, he didn't say, now if you repent, enough, you can become worthy of the blood of Jesus. He used an adverb there. He that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation. Meaning the only reason you take that little cracker and that little glass of juice is to remind yourself that his body was broken just as I crushed that cracker with my teeth. His body was crushed and beaten and blood was poured out so that I don't have to come offer a lamb for my own sins. He was the lamb and he was offered for my sins and I can never be worthy of that if I prayed for an hour in a church pew and then I get up and smile and wipe the tears off and say, finally, I deserve a drop of his blood. Let me have it now. Give me a whole bottle. I deserve it now. How foolish that would be. You could never, do, you can't with a lifetime of service be good enough to deserve the death that he died on Calvary. You can't be worthy. We'll never be worthy. That's the whole point of this. Nobody's worthy of anything. If you don't ask God for his blessing in your life because you know you don't deserve it, the only thing I can say to you is, duh. What are you waiting? You really think that one day I'll be able to say to God, God, finally, I have purified and cleansed my life so good that I know you will not be able to say no to me because I finally deserve thy blessing. And you know he listens better if you say thee and thy and thou. And thou hast blessed me a few times, but I'm asking for a big blessing now because I really need that job and I really want that promotion and I really need that and I really need this other, but I have really worked on my life so that I am now able to ask you because I know you can't look at me and say, you didn't do anything bad. Well, come here, boy. Get in this chamber, girl. I'm going to give you the... See, if you're waiting to ask God until you finally get good enough, you're never going to ask God for anything, and you're going to just sit back in the shadows forever waiting on him to thump you in the back of the head because you're bad, and you're so bad God won't... God, I'm just trying to tell you today, did you know a miraculous God waits just on the other side of you understanding that you'll never be worthy of his miracle? And he never made her worthy. He just left it hanging. I shouldn't give to a dog what the child gets. And she just said, I know. I'll take a crumb. And he gave her. Not because suddenly she became worthy, but because suddenly he saw what he's always waiting to see, faith. Faith.